Hey guys, Rank Medic here, and we're back with the Soul Blazer Randomizer, and we're back here because I figured out what I was missing. And what I was missing is that I'm an idiot. Oh, this room's gonna look familiar. We checked it last time. I saw the chests were open and figured, oh, I did everything I need to do in here. I apparently never talked to this gem. Because of that, we have Dr. Leo's brush. Which means we can go deal with the last part of this area. I probably never talked to this guy if the walls aren't here. <laughs> anyway, so I'll have them built by the time we get back out of the painting. Oh, I've got the wrong weapon equipped, that's why. I am high enough level to use the Zontetsu at least, so let's, uh, that, that's handy. Oh, also, full disclosure, I did have to, uh, replay what I recorded last time because I forgot to save afterwards. We've done... Uh, I did all the same stuff for the most part, except... Uh, I can show you real quick. I picked this up because we had all the emblems anyway. And I did not do the walk underwater without the bubble armors. I'm, I, I'm pretty confident that's not intended. That is something you can do. I don't think you need to. Anyways, everything in here will die super fast. Because we are way over leveled for this at this point. And with the Zontetsu, we can kill the metal enemies too, so we can full clear this place. No problem. The boss will also die hilariously fast. Alright, that's not a particularly helpful uh, unlock, but hopefully something here will be good for us. Uh, that might actually be useful, we'll see. I think that's the wrong one. I think that's the one that doesn't let you in. We'll have to double check. Alright, what's in the chest? What, what's in the chest? Useless. I guess not super useless. We do have magic now. Tornado's pretty good. It doesn't, uh, it's not super controllable, but it does a lot of damage, so. Light arrow, alright. If we want to have more controlled magic, we can use that. Carefully not hit that button until all the metal guys are dead. Because they will all respawn. We don't want them to all respawn, that's just annoying. At this point, I might as well just uh, kill everything and then hit all the buttons in sequence here. Cool. 
lot of the people releases are completely incidental and not super useful. Herb. Old man, that lets us into the other part of the Mountain of Souls, so that's a good that's a good get. Uh, nope, not this way. Yeah, that's only the one monster layer, and it should be up here. There it is. Another mermaid statue, alright. Once again, I'm gonna just uh, kill everything and then come back and press all the switches. Mainly to avoid having all these metal guys respawn. Would be more XP to do it that way, I guess, but we're good on that front. A model of town, all right, we'll need that for later. Boss room. Verba tells you about Turbo. That's uh, fine, I guess. We don't really need to know about Turbo, but we can. <laughs> And that opens up our teleporter to get out of here once we're done. Speaking of once we're done, let's just uh, ruin this man's life. It's very satisfying to do that, given how he's usually actually kind of tough. Anyways, that didn't get us anything super exciting, but it did, uh, at least open up a couple of venues. I don't remember if that bird in the upper right gives you anything, so let's check that real quick. I know this is just a this is just a hint bird for the base game. And the other bird just talks about turbo, so we don't care about that. I don't think either of the angelfish we unlock do anything of value for us, but. Yeah, that's, that's not super useful, buddy. Is, is he even there? I don't think he's there, right? Yeah, we never, we haven't found him yet. <laughs> oh, they put text in there for this exact situation. I did not know that was the case, because I don't think you can easily get it that way normally. Uh, have we come up here and gotten this? I don't think we had access to this yet. We sure didn't. All right. Oh, well, that was disappointing. <laughs> and this person isn't home yet. Uh, 
And yeah, nothing else we can do down here at the moment without damage walking. So let's go check out the other part of the Mountain of Souls, I suppose. That's our next best bet. We can fight that annoying boss also. I think we open up the way to the prison too, so we can come down here and talk to Gnome, maybe? You got to say, buddy? Oh yeah, you don't have anything useful to say at all. Hey, Gnome, what do you got for me? Another magic spell, cool. I still don't think we can get to the king. I might as well walk over there and look. I'm only wasting your time. <laughs> I don't care about that. Yeah, no, we still can't get there. You got for me, snail. The bubble armor, okay. I'd also forgotten about that guy. Which means we can go deal with uh, Area 3, but might as well do this while we're here. We don't need the mushroom shoes for this side. Oh, these guys. I hate these guys so much. We're strong enough now that they shouldn't be too big of a deal. But they're very annoying, and they're all over the place here. Strange bottle, useless. Okay. I love these little jumping slime guys. A medical herb. Been a while since we got one of those. Alright, let's see if I can remember my way around this place. There'll be one set of guys that we can't get to in the last area, because we can't get to a... Because I don't think we have the right uh, sleeping mushroom yet. But that's fine. A tulip that says nothing of value, if I recall. For a randomizer run. It does vanish when you talk to it, though, which is a little weird. If I got too close. So what you can do with these guys, we have Light Arrow. Is if you time it right, you can just kind of do this. And not even have to deal with their teleporting. Makes life a lot nicer. We're not at the point where having the uh, strange bottles could be useful if I swap to it right before death. That's the old man who tells you how to crab walk, if I recall. Also, as you can see, the walls are, in fact, there now. Wrong. I want you to cut that out. 
Thank you. The light arrow can also, in theory, make those guys a little bit less annoying to deal with, but they're not too bad. Gotta time your movements. Oh god. I got a little bit out of hand, but it wasn't too bad. For general use, I think Light Arrow is probably my favorite spell. Oh, hey, the Mushroom Juice. Uh, no, I, I want to stay here. Well, that we can clear this area out, too, I guess, so that's, that's handy. Those bats are the ones that we're not going to be able to get to. Or rather, they're lair, since the bats are dead. Slimes, no problem. Okay, we're we're making some we're making some good progress now. It only took like four videos to get here. I think it's the fourth one. I'm real bad at keeping count of that kind of thing. As we all know. Crap. Should open up our fast teleport back, if I recall. Yep, there it is. Okay. That's... Let's see what this gets us. Then let's kill the boss just to get it out of the way. Oh, that was actually kind of important. So good thing I came down here and did this. My least favorite boss. Can we hit you with magic? No. Oh. 
He won't be any real th She? It won't be any real threat to us. But it's just a very slow and annoying boss fight. Especially when you get on the wrong side of it. Yeah, with the Zontetsu and being level 17, it'll die pretty quick. Taking all kinds of hits, I shouldn't be here, but whatever, it doesn't matter. Well, that's the left side tower. We still haven't gotten the main castle yet, which is a little funny. Yeah, with the mushroom shoes, we can go over and finish out the other part and have the Mountain of Souls completely dealt with. And that seems like the correct idea. Unfortunately, I have to walk all the way back up there, apparently, because I never got the warp point, or I didn't walk into it or something. <laughs> That's a little annoying, but whatever. Luckily, we ignore most of this stuff. Well, let's actually pop the shoes on before I forget. Goat or the hungry goat? I think it's the lonely goat. That'll show us around. Not the most useful thing to get, but you know. Progress is progress. Uh, we don't need these for the moment. Let's pop our super bracelet back on. Exactly the kind of enemy I don't want to see up here, but Light Arrow takes care of that. A mouse? Ah, the church mouse. The literal church mouse. Noxious amount of bats. Oh, good, even more. Okay. Not the Leo must be in Northern Seabed. All right, good to know. the many creepy talking dolls of Dr. Leo's house. Anything over here? No. That went well. Uh, 
A maid that we can't recall yet. Cool. From an area we can't go to yet. That should open up the way down. I don't know what I've missed for that guy over to the right, but we'll figure it out eventually. Can I just not get close enough to it? Is one that only spawns when guys are within a certain range when you're within a certain range of it? Yep, that was it. Lines are kicking my butt. That's also a dead number on me, but. They're dead now, I guess. And that's why I usually try and kill those guys with magic. Okay, we got both sides of that open now. That'll be our next place to head to anyway, as we finally have the bubble armor. It looks like this episode is coming to a close here, so let's clear out this place and then get over to Area 3 and uh, call it a day, I think. Doesn't feel like we accomplished a lot, but we did technically full clear out two areas this episode, so... at the restaurant that currently doesn't exist. Alright, I need to deal with this guy, because he is going to be a pain in my butt. There we go. You know what? Rather than uh, walk around here with you guys doing this, I'm going to just uh, do that. placement of this and it being ones that you have to get close to for the enemies to spawn is a little bit obnoxious, but what are you going to do? Why are there so many of them in here? pointless gesture to kill that guy. He's going to respawn immediately as soon as I step on this, but... 
That might be the mushroom we need to get that last layer, but that's that's something to think about later. I guess I could do that. We have a warp right there. That can be the last thing that we do. Here's our warp back. that tulip has anything we want. Again, questions for another time. Now, I think you can get through here without the mushroom shoes. They do make things a lot more convenient. Also, you can see the difference that the Super Bracelet makes. Now, we were very easily killing everything with one hit. Put it on. And now, very much not the case. And I'm gonna snipe you guys. A little bit less annoying to deal with. I'm not a good shot this morning. Ah, this plant is actually important. It will have something for us. Not quite who we wanted to see there. We need the cat in that room. It was get the ability to go to Madrid Castle. I think it's the cat at least. It might be the doll. Marie. And up here is our last thing for this area. Worthless. Uh, you know what? I don't want anything to do with you guys. I'm going to just leave. Bye. Let's go see if that mushroom is the one that I'm thinking that it is. It is. Oh, <coughs> perfect. Let's go actually full clear this area, and then move to area 3 and save, and I'll be back next time after that. Now then, the fastest way to do that is to go back up to the Sky Palace. That opened up this, which lets us get to this. Oh, uh, that... I forget if they have any treasure in there. I don't think they do. Yeah, we got a little bit over, but I'm gonna actually go check that out real quick, too. Because I will definitely forget if I don't check it out now. Yeah, we got access to Dr. Leo's house as well from talking to the gnome. But I think what we want to do first is go to Area 3, since we can clear out a pretty good chunk of that already. That's not the correct way. What are you doing? Oh, I was wrong. This is the old man's goat. I really wish we had this goat pen. I want to know what the item is here. 
Oh, we can't get down to the kid. Well, that was a waste of about maybe a minute. Anyways. Get over here. Let's save. Make sure I've saved. I don't have to do all that again. Yeah, we've cleared out a few areas fully now. I think three of them. We're still missing most of what we need to actually be able to finish the game, though, which is a little bit annoying. But next time, we'll check out Area 3 and see what we can find. Later, guys.